I'm David Schloss from HD Video Pro. It's day two of the NAB Expo. I'm taking a look today for interesting uses of new technology. I am by the VizRT booth right now. We're going to watch their demonstration. VizRT is a platform for producing motion graphics using AR and VR in real time during broadcast. I think it's the best demonstration that I've seen at the show. It's certainly the one that captures the audience's attention the most. So let's go take a look at the way that VizRT is using AR or VR uh, in order to enhance broadcast. Let's go take a look. Tell you about some of the tools that we're using here today. Just in front of me, we see half this monolith that's moving down the aisles here. This is a robotic camera from Electric Friends, and it's loaded with mechanical tracking data. So it is sending data over to our Viz Virtual Studio software so that we can see the movement in our studio. You also see that there's a very nice, clean design that's running all these tracks here. This has some nice cable management, so you can have this in your newsroom and be able to move around and have a very nice look on the air. Also, right behind Behind us, we have the in-cam optical tracking system, and this system gives you complete flexibility of movement in your studio so that you can have AR graphics in the studio as well as outdoors by the football field or the street corner. Uh, also behind us, we have this massive video wall. This is going to have virtual sets added to the video wall without the need of a green screen or blue screen. So we have a uh, nice movement in the video wall. This is what we call the virtual window. We'll have augmented reality graphics here in front of us. And our director is driving the entire presentation using the uh, NetVenture in-quad system. So if you want to see how a live production is produced, you can stand behind the director and watch them in action. So let's get started. Now, first of all, you see this first virtual studio that we have here behind us. This is what we call a Faro scan, a high-resolution laser scan of an actual warehouse in Innsbruck, Austria, near where our R&D team for Viz Virtual Studio is located. Now, our friends over at Art Fabric designed the look and feel of this, as well as the robots that we have going on here. But this is an AR presentation, so let's take one of these robots out here and bring him out into the studio space. Here we go. So here is one of these robots. Now these are high resolution 3D models that are all being rendered in real time in Viz Engine, our graphics engine. So everything that you see here, all the animation, everything is going to be rendered with our 3D engine. So one of the things that uh, we can do with the graphics engine is we can bring in any 3D models, but we can also bring in different kinds of objects, such as this volumetric photo scan of well, me. And so here we have uh, a volumetric photo scan, a real 3D model of me that's been added to the studio. And it is extremely high resolution. So you can zoom in there, you can see the folds of the shirt, you can see how much gray hair I have in the back of my head that I didn't know I had before. And uh, these can also be fully animated, not just static that we have here. So we can have some of these characters walking around the studio. There's uh, one guy over there. There's another one walking up. Yeah, there I go over there. So these can be fully animated uh, scans of various different players or people in the studio. Or we can also have a little bit more fun with this. Let's change this over to uh, my co-host Chris Orange. My name's Chris Black, so that's Chris Orange. And there's Chris Orange going on, doing his thing over there. Now this is not an animation. This is not a pre-recorded animation of Chris Ars moving around. This is live motion capture that's being done right now by Tina over at the Motion Analysis booth. So Motion Analysis further down the hall this way. So what they're doing right now is we have Tina being captured by the Motion Analysis optical tracking system and all that motion data is being sent live over to our booth so that Chris Ars can do some uh, funky dancing here. Now we're gonna do a little bit more of motion capture later on in the show. But let's take a look at some of the other things that we can do with augmented reality. For that, we're going to go over to our friends at Stoose Media and their data platform. We'll see you later, Chris. There we go. So this is the Stoose Media data platform. And what they do, uh, Stoose Media does, is to provide creative services and also allow you to tie in live data to 3D objects in your studio. So here we have an interactive scene of these various different objects. So we can choose one of these, and when you choose an object, it triggers an animation throughout the entire presentation with video walls, as well as augmented reality graphics in the studio. So here we have these AR graphics come up here, and this is a very, very nice design for the Stoose Media. We have this nice French jet coming in here. As the camera moves around, you can see all the angles of it. We have, a, if you have a data feed coming in, we can have all the data update in real time. Now, Using these tools, such as the interactive capabilities, we're able to have allow the presenter be able to drive the production. So we can also choose other objects, such as our submarine here, and have that bubble up from the uh, basement of our studio. There it goes. So that will be coming up. And it is a lot of nice design work tied together with the data. So when you're covering elections, sports, anything else, you want to be able to have those two worlds together so you're giving meaningful information to the viewers at home. 
let's take a look at a few other offers that we get to do in the studio by going over to our friends at Dorna and take a look at the Moto GP. There we go. So uh, Dorna is a production company for Moto GP, which is this pretty insane super bikes race that they do all over the world. And it's basically 24 riders riding on these uh, incredibly fast motorcycles at over 200 miles per hour on these curvy tracks. And we have the latest version of the Suzuki Superbike here in the studio. This is the first time anybody's seeing this. This bike is being premiered as the uh, season starts later in the year. Now, using the in-cam system, we can go into the studio and take a closer look at the features that make this bike very unique, such as the aerodynamics of the fairing, also taking a look at the engines, and all the other features that make this bike quite unique. So by having the 3D objects in the studio, and by using the camera to be able to move around and tell the story, you're giving a lot of extra flexibility for your storytelling and the studio at home. Now, Dorna also does a lot of data-driven graphics by being able to give their viewers at home an idea of how each biker is performing during the race. And for that, they use optical tracking. So let's take a look at some of the optical tracking. We're just going to do a very, very simple version of it here. So here I have this optical tracking that's being applied to my suit here, so it's applied to my uh, uh, pocket square here. Now I'm not wearing any kind of sensors on me or anything like that. It's purely optical, and you can have this fully data driven so that this content is always being seen with the most up to date information. But let's also take a look at how you can take IR and you add it to the newsroom workload so your journalists have control of the content. By that, we're going to go over to Fox Sports and bring in some U.S. Open content. Right, so here's the U.S. Open background. Uh, now this is actually, it is a photo of the field here, but it is actually a virtual set too. So as the camera starts moving around, you'll be able to see some nice movement in the background. Let's bring in some AR content from the uh, uh, U.S. Open set here. So now each one of these items that you're seeing here on the floor are part of a template-based workflow for the journalists. So the journalists in their newsroom system can open up these templates, change out the images, change out the text, and build a playlist of all the AR graphics they want to use during their broadcast. So augmented reality is no longer a special one-off item that you add to your broadcast. It can now be used for every show and every story. So if you also you can also of course bring in other content such as the uh, trophy coming out in here, have that as part of the studio. So or you can have the more specialized graphics such as taking advantage of the space that we have and bring in large AR graphics such as the tenth hole from the US Open. Let's bring in that uh, fairway, there it is. So this is the tenth fairway from the US Open. Now we'll switch over to the end camp system that we'll be able to go back out here into the studio. And here we can take a look at some of the challenges the golf is face. Just as when they're teeing off, how far far they have to go, at least be able to get halfway down the fair field, uh, fairway. So when they can get down the fairway, they can go up to uh, 220 uh, yards, you'd be able to just get halfway. This is a really long fairway. Now, if they have a little bit more strength, they can get down to a, a better position, down at 294 yards. And uh, by using the uh, in-camp system, we can really get in there and take a look at all the different challenges that they face, and also take advantage of the space that we have here to be able to tell these different kinds of stories. Well, let's switch sports for a moment and go over to soccer, because we are preparing a lot of our customers to get ready for the World Cup, so we have a few soccer tools here to show off. Let's take a look first at some Champions League content. Here's our Champions League logo right here on the studio floor. A little bit of this nice football, but let's actually just take this off and stick it into the video wall and bring in a, a soccer stadium. So here we have our soccer stadium. This is another virtual set in our virtual windows that has a lot of depth and movement to it. We have all of our uh, fans out there waiting to see what we're going to do next. Let's bring in some AR in here. So here is another augmented reality graphic designed by this artist, our design platform. And it is also, again, part of that template-based workflow for the journalists. So they can change all of this content and build out that playlist. And the journalist has control of all these different graphics to be able to have different designs and look and feel for the use during the show. So we can change over to something like that, over to more glossy uh, that you have here. Now the players that you're seeing here are these 2D images of players. So they can also be volumetric photo scans, like we saw earlier in the show. In fact, let's bring some out here from uh, Sky Sports Germany. Early last year, Sky Sports Germany scanned all of the players in the Bundesliga, the German football league. And here we have some of the players from Munich added to the studio in our video wall, as well as here in the AR. So as we move the camera further around in the studio, you can see we can go completely around these players. They are nice high resolution 3D objects. But it's not just enough having the players in the studio. You also need to be able to bring the gameplay into the studio to be able to show how they're actually uh, going, the game actually progressed. 
So let's go in here and add in Viz Libro AR. Nope, okay, we'll skip that one. Let's, uh, now let's go over to um, League of Legends. Now Vizzer T was also heavily involved in esports tournaments around the world. Last year we toured with the guys from Riot Games and League of Legends. And we have the League of Legends Virtual Studio added to our studio here today. So you can see you can have any kind of design that you want for your virtual set. It can be something uh, very realistic or cartoony like this League of Legends Studio. Now esports is all about time game with the player at, at the stadium. So let's actually bring in some more game assets here. So here we have this robot here from League of Legends. And now using augmented reality in the studio, we're able to bring in the characters from the games right there with the player to have them working together. And again, this is not an animation. This is happening in real time where we have Tina back over the motion analysis uh, booth. She is uh, acting out the movements here. We can have all of this working together in the studio to really get the esports fans engaged and seeing their favorite players with their favorite characters in the same space. Now if you have any questions,